I have never heard anyone on television say this before. Watch this. Oil looks higher, gold looks higher, currencies look weaker, all for the reasons that we talked about before. I mean, you've got huge wage disparities. I don't know how that inevitably resolves itself. Um, it may resolve itself in some type of a, of a global currency crisis. And then if the global currency crisis unfolds, then inevitably you get, uh, I guess, an alignment under a, a global world government, uh, a new global currency, um, and a new world order. Uh, so we may be moving towards that. Mm, talk to us a little bit more about this uh, currency crisis you see uh, erupting. What does that assume about what's going to happen to the dollar? Well, it, it assumes that the dollar will utterly get destroyed and become <laughs> virtually worthless. I can't, I can't take it. I can't take it. Well, talk to me a little bit more about this currency crisis. What does that do? You know, I, I, did I hear it wrong? Play just a little snippet again. What did he just say? If the global currency crisis unfolds, then inevitably you get, uh, I guess, an alignment under a, a global world government, uh, a new global currency. Um, and a new world order. <laughs> That's not good. The guest just said that the dollar would collapse and replace with some sort of global currency. I mean, have you checked the front page of the Drudge Report today? China is saying, hey, America, you really might want to rethink that whole health care thing. It seems pretty expensive. That is our bank. That's like your bank calling up and saying, hey, by the way, I think you guys are spending too much money. That's a, that's a pretty big house. If this bank doesn't give us any more loan or if we burn this bank, there's nobody left. A one world government, a new world order, and the host doesn't even flinch. Apparently, apparently that's not even shocking to anybody anymore. Or they're not listening. On the scales of insane things, I just want to show you what we skipped past. Ready? Look at this. Put it up here. We're in a recession now. People argue we were even in a recession. We're, we're in a deep recession. I think we're on the edge of a depression because of what we're doing. Okay, so we have skipped a deep recession and skipped depression, even the Great Depression. We went right to the collapse of the dollar. Then he went right to global currency, one world government and a new world order like that.